Hey there. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to customize our store. Now, what is a store? Well, obviously, it's the place where your viewers can go to see what kind of courses you have for sale. All right. So let's go ahead and dive right in. We're in our dashboard under website. And right here, we're going to hit store and click on customize. Now, once we are here, I've already done a little bit of work here. So what I did here was this said stores and I wanted to click edit. And you can simply rename it as store. And down here, you can make another title, whatever you want it to say. This is a public facing uh, page, which means that people are going to be looking at this page prior to making a decision on purchasing it. So you do want it to make it look nice and certainly give them a couple of call to actions. Now, I like mine to say all courses because that's all I do is sell courses. But, you know, you might sell courses, you might sell one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching packages, you might have a lot of things. So for you, it might make sense to leave it as store. I like to call mine all courses, okay? Uh, that's just a matter of preference. I just like to do it that way. All right, so now let's go and start adding our products which I mean by that, I mean offers that we've attached to products to our store. All right. Now, I'm not going to go and, and go over too much of this, of the design of this right now. Let's go ahead and start adding items to our store and then we can worry about the design. So we're going to go back and here we are into Store Builder. And in Store Builder, you're going to add, you want to add a um, content, a, car, a card. In the meantime, I'm just going to delete this one so we can start from scratch. So in our store builder, you're going to scroll down to where it says add content and you're going to click on add content. You want to click on offer card. And now it's going to come up with your options for offers. We created an offer already. It was called my awesome offer or my awesome course. I also created a second one so that you can see what it's like to have more than one. So the first one, I'm going to just do the, for the one that we did called My Awesome Course. And for this one, I already ordered the, another offer cord. And this one, I'm going to say another offer. Now, when I'm in this specific offer card, I can change a few things. For instance, suppose I didn't want this to be white. All right. I can simply do this. Change that. Background color override and it simply changes to that. I can also change the text color. All right, now that does not look good with this one. And I would suggest, well, you know, they are kind of almost the same colors, but um, you might want to keep it consistent throughout. But I just wanted to show you that you can do that. So I'm just gonna go back and make this that color and turn this back to white. All righty. So now we have two offers in our store and I'm going to hit save. Now let's take a look at this preview. Okay, here we are. We've got our nice store, maybe a little call to action. Click on this one and it's going to go right to your checkout. And I will show you how to have that link go to a, a sales page. But for now, we're just leaving it as this. Okay, this should do the same thing. The prices are up there. Fantastic. You're actually ready to sell these. All right. Now let's go back and I'll show you. You can reorder these around by just by switching these up and down. And how I got these, I just kept adding content. So that's all you have to do is just add another offer here. Okay. Now let's see. We could talk about aligning the card center, which is nice. Of course, we could do the text to the left, the, the text to the center, or the text to the right. So you have a little bit of control over all of this. And if you wanted to get really crazy with the design, you can certainly go in back into the store builder. So you're in your store builder, not your offer card, because that'll affect the, the actual card, but in your store offer. And if you want your background color to be something completely different, you have the option to do it there. I'm going to just remove that right now. Okay. Spacing. Let's look at what large spacing looks like. That gives it a giant background. I don't know why it looks like that, but let's go back and go back to small spacing. All right, not sure why that changed. There we go. Okay, 
Let's see. So that is it, really. That is how you build your store. And we'll get into the header and footer in later videos. All right. I will see you in the next video.